What's up everybody? Welcome back to another exciting Apex Legends video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking every legend in Apex Season 8, creating our very own tier list from worst to best. Let's do it. Let's go, baby. Now, before we begin, I want to remind everybody that these rankings are my opinion alone. I've been playing since launch, so if you feel that your legend isn't ranked high enough or your legend's ranked too low, then feel free to, to have those have that conversation with me down in the comment section. But please keep it positive. If you have nothing good to say about the rankings, then please keep them to yourself. Now, with that out of the way, let's begin. Starting off in the D tier, we have Mirage. Okay. Mirage has been at the bottom of, of every tier list that I've ever done. And the side about that is, is that Mirage is just a, just a bad legend when it comes to the team aspect of Apex Legends. Individually, he continues to get buffs season after season after season. I think we're three seasons now that he's consistently got a buff. They thought, oh, well, now that his ultimate, you know, makes all these decoys, but they don't make foot sounds that that's going to change anything. Now, it does happen. Some people still get bamboozled, but I don't think it's a big enough buff to raise his power level any higher than what it is. He's literally like the Yamcha of Apex Legends. Next up in the D tier, guys, is Rampart. Rampart still remains one of the lowest pick rate and has the lowest win rate in Apex Legends, and there's a reason for that. Her kit is just not as good. You know, her kit, her defensive kit, other legends do it better. Watson's better, Gibby's better, and Caustic is the best defensive legend in the game. The fact that they've added, now she did get some good buffs. They did add, you know, her shields to have 45 HP, so it does help her out when she is doing a setup. And they increased the range on her minigun to go farther left and right so you can mow down more enemies. The fact of the matter is, though, nobody falls for Rampart's walls or her minigun so even with the small buff to rampart she still remains the lowest pick rate and win rate in the game which still doesn't make her a very good legend for ranked and or just regular pubs now on to c tier first one up in c tier guys is the brand new legend fuse and i know what you guys are thinking he's a great new addition to apex legends you know the list of legends that they have in the game he's the new legend in season eight but when it comes down to it he is just a third party legend okay his tactical is really nice it does a small amount of damage and it helps you kind of just break up or disorient enemies you know his ultimate is the perfect third party ultimate in the game it was gonna it looked like it was gonna be really cool to trap people in but the fact is there's just too many uh, other legends that can help you get out you have the gibby dome that protects you from the fire you have race portal pathfinder zipline you have octane's jump pad loba can get away from it horizon can get your team out so there's just too many things in the game that counteract fuse so you know that's what puts him down into the c tier guys the best thing about him is his passive ability being able to to stack grenades and then just chuck as many grenades you want into the game but that's the only thing that fuse has going for him right now so that places him in the c tier next up in the c tier is loba loba still remains with a low power in apex legends they did give her a really nice buff the last time increasing her ultimate to start at 50 percent to help gather loot for your teammates but still in the end her tactical is very predictable you know it's you can't do anything else but that if they allowed loba to have an increased animation or to be able to throw her bracelet and then do something else you know more efficiently while her bracelet's going off then it would be a lot better but you know her tactical is just not that good in apex legends and her ultimate is is probably the best thing about her but besides that her passive ability does absolutely nothing for your team you know there's not going to be many times when you're running around and you're just thinking oh what is that purple item i need to get to it so loba still remains at the bottom of the list because she, she just doesn't have enough in her kit to help your team out her ultimate does the best thing where you can get all the items that you need for your team but that's about it next up in the c tier guys is one of my favorites it's watson i love watson so much she's been one of my favorite legends since release in season two but the fact is is that her defensive loadout just isn't as good as caustics or gibby's all right she does have a really good loadout but but how fast 
the game and how the meta has shifted to where Caustic is just the main guy. Her defensive loadout just doesn't do enough. Now, if the game was a little bit more balanced and the game was healthier, Watson is definitely the play. Through seasons two to four, Watson was the ideal candidate for defensive setups. But now all the buffs that Caustic has received, she has just been like pushed back into the into the forest like Homer in that meme. So she just she has a really good kit. I don't know what it's going to take, guys, to make her, you know, get some buffs to help change it. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down in the comments. But I really love Watson. It just sucks to see her kind of push back into, the, you know, the shadows from other legends that continue to get buffs. And she hasn't gotten anything. So that's why she's down in the C tier. Moving on to the B tier, guys. This is the most balanced legends in the game or some that have been overpowered and reduced down to the middle of the pack. So starting off, we are going to have Pathfinder. And I know what you guys are thinking, Pathfinder has been so good in Apex Legends for so long, but now that they keep releasing legends like Horizon and buffing other legends like Crypto or Octane, his mobility factor just doesn't mean anything anymore. His grapple still takes too long. Yeah, his zipline is really good, but in the end, you'd rather use Horizon's gravity lift. It's just better. It's more controllable. And now with the huge buff to Octane, you'd rather use his jump pad to get everywhere. So Pathfinder has kind of taken a hit just from all the addition you know buffs to the other mobile legends in the game now what they could do to make him better is to remove you know his make his hitbox back to the same or reduce the timer on his you know his grapple back down at least a little bit a couple seconds that would make a difference to make him a little bit more pickable than other legends but the fact is he just gets overshadowed by other legends in the game now he still is good he's still going to be able to scan your beacons and do that but again, you have better legends. Crypto does it instantly, who's seeing more play in the meta. And Bloodhound is still at the top of the list when it comes to the best recon legends in the game. So Pathfinder, I love you, man. But you're stuck in the B tier. Next up in the B tier, guys, is Lifeline. Lifeline still remains in the middle of the pack as far as legends to use in Apex Legends. Okay, now in ranked, you don't see a whole lot of play for her. But in normal pubs, you see a lot. Her kit is still very good and is very annoying to face when she's constantly rezzing and continuing to fight teammates or fight enemies in a given gunfight. Okay, her loadout is still great. She can heal and she still has great items and resources that she can get you with her ultimate. Although she just hasn't remained or got a big enough buff to move her up or her power level up, she still remains in the middle of the pack and still is overall a really good legend to pick, especially if you are playing a little bit more passive or a supporting role in Apex Legends. Next up in the B tier, guys, is one of my favorite legends in the game, Bangalore. Bangalore still remains the middle of the pack. It's just like the R301. She is probably one of the most balanced legends in the game. She's never received a big enough nerf or a big enough buff to really alter her power levels in Apex. She is still <clears throat> she is still really good use for rank. You can use her smoke in almost anything offensively and defensively as well as her ultimate still packs a huge punch okay so her double time ability if you're an aggressive character is going to allow you to get in and out of gunfights and just end enemies really quick so bangalore is still a really good option to play in apex legends and she still remains one of the easiest legends to learn okay if you big shout out to lg shiv if you want to go he's mastered uh bangalore with over a hundred thousand kills so bangalore is still a really good legend to use Next up and last in the B tier, guys, is Crypto. Your experienced or techno hacker is back into the B tier. He was in the C tier, so he got a, a big upgrade. The meta has shifted a whole lot where a lot of the recon characters and how the meta has been shaping with Octane and Revenant. Crypto has been used a lot to be able with his ultimate, which not only destroys shields that are on the person or knocked or put onto the ground, but it slows them down so much that it allows you to get in there fast with an octane jump pad, which makes Crypto a very good legend to use in Apex, not only ranked, but pubs. Now he is on the slow side, so you need to be able to get in and out of his drum or you need to pre-set up that attack with his ultimate. Outside of that, his being able to scan beacons and then get banners and then bring people back happens almost at an instant. So Crypto is a really good legend to learn to use in Apex Legends. The biggest problem with him is that he's a very difficult legend to learn. Okay, he's very tough to use, and it takes a lot of skill and practice to use him in Apex. But besides that, Crypto has moved up a spot to the B tier, and he's a really good legend to check out. Now, moving on to the A tier, guys, we're going to talk about the first legend in there, and that is Revenant. He has moved up from the B tier, guys, and that is because the meta shift is back to the Revenant push. Okay, 
alongside of octane he's gonna be in the a tier with his revenant ultimate being able to just to push every enemy and give you a free life i mean what's better than that guys a free life we thought that the revenant days were over back in season six but they have resurfaced again in season eight alongside uh crypto and bloodhound this meta is insane we've seen a lot of the pros and a lot of the high level streamers using this um, meta which we'll talk about in another video but revenant has moved up in power and he's one of the most picked legends in the game now so being able to time and use his skills in apex legends his silent is an amazing ability to silence anybody's abilities for one second or one minute i should say and then with his ultimate it gives you that free life to take down enemies and re-push that effect so revenant moved up he's in the a tier alongside of him guys in the a tier is octane octane has got a huge buff in season eight okay his jump pad has now moved up to the one of the best mobility characters in the game if not the best now okay he's even in contention for watson past pathfinder anybody else that you can think of okay his jump pad now if you are standing when you hit his jump pad you go higher okay you go a higher arc but just as far and then if you hit it while you're sliding and you're crouched you go farther on a lower arc but faster so his jump pad allows you to get in and out of combat so fast along with the revenant push crypto alts and the bloodhound scanning almost no enemy can get away from you so octane and, and that's it just his ultimate has placed him up into the a tier this season everything else about him is great his stem is still good he recharges a lot of health back when he's using his stem so if you have to be in a situation where you can get in and out of combat also his passive allows you to get through the fires which we mentioned with fuse so that's why his you know his thing is just not that good you don't get the stun effect when you hit the stem and go through the fire sure you take the damage but you're in and out of there in a flash so octane has moved up significantly again one of the easiest legends to learn how to use in a Apex, so definitely get on board with the octane train in season eight next up in the a tier guys wraith oh it pains me to do this she dropped down from the s tier she's been in the s tier every single season she's been the best legend in every single season since the game has launched respawn has put in the patch notes that she her win rate and pick rate is just too high essentially so they wanted to nerf her in another way now a season ago we she caught a big nerf and got a huge rework to her kit to be more of a scouting and repositioning legend instead of having such a get out of jail free card with her you know her phase ability so they've reached did that to her and it still didn't affect the game it almost made her even better and then now they've made her hitbox a lot bigger so she doesn't have the smallest hitbox in the game anymore but again we still see every pro team and high level streamer still using her without a fault wraith is still a really good legend guys you just have to master the movement in apex to kind of compensate for her added uh size in her hitbox so wraith has dropped from s to a but she's still the best legend in the game continuing into the a tier guy the last legend in my girl horizon since horizons come out in season seven she has made the biggest impact in any season of any character being released the patch notes have even said by respawn that she rivaled wraith in pick rate and win rate since her release making her one of the best legends in the game okay her gravity lift can get your team to any location especially to reposition onto the high ground if you think a team has got you on the high ground nope gravity lift out her ultimate the black hole is one of the best ultimates in the game combine that with some throwables and you are taking down multiple teams just be careful of it getting destroyed but besides that you gravity lift up hit them with a black hole and some grenades there's no way your team can lose those gunfights so horizon has just become one of the best legends to use in apex and has made the biggest impact in the game now when we come to ranked she's slowly and slowly getting more used and ranked especially at the pro level but we're gonna see how that meta shakes with octane revenant and bloodhound so horizon best new legend that they've ever came out with they made the biggest impact besides watson on release so horizon is still in the a tier from last season guys make sure to pick her and player moving on to the s tier guys and the best legends in the game first off we're going to start with the newly added s tier legend caustic this guy has literally became the meta in apex especially ranked if you're not running caustic on your team it seems like you're making a mistake okay the fact that he's got now his gas no longer affects your teammates as far as uh, movement you still get the blur but allow your team to move freely while fighting in closed areas or close quarters gives your team such the advantage over another it's almost disgusting 
Now his gas being able to deal so much damage, you know, with his uh, gas um, traps and then his ultimate still makes it the best. Hey, we're going to take over this building or, hey, defensively, you're not getting into this building because we have Caustic. This is our area. He's one of the best setup legends in the game, if not the best. And then his passive being able to see through his gas and identify where enemies are is just amazing. Caustic is the best defensive setup legend in the game and remains to still get buffed. Okay, he continues to get buffed season after season, and I'm not sure why, but he's he was powerful before they gave him that buff where your teammates can move freely. So I'm not sure why he continues to get, you know, buffed season after season. He's remained a middle of the pack pick legend before these buffs. So now that he's gotten these and he's became more of a high tier legend and almost on every team at the pro level, Caustic is just one of the best legends to play in the game, and he has the best setup for ranked in the game, guys. So Caustic, S tier legend. Next up, if you guys don't already know, Gibby in the S tier. Gibby still remains an S tier legend, and he probably won't, will still be an S tier legend until they just give him one of the biggest nerfs that we've ever seen in Apex. His, he does everything. He is your ultimate support legend, and he's also one of your most powerful offensive legends in the game. His dome shield protects you in any instance okay out in the open in condensed in close quarters areas you know it allows your team to heal a whole lot faster while you're inside the dome sure it doesn't last as long as it used to but it's still a very powerful tactical to have in the game you know along with that he's a, he can res faster than lifeline does inside of his dome also known as the dome res guys so and then you have bombardment bombardment his ultimate ability which does the most damage in any ultimate in the game it happens very quickly it's a great way to take over a building or a high ground and reposition it's a great way to end fights towards the end game so gibby just does everything you know they did change his gun shield a little bit so there is a, a, a small tweak to his gun shield but even then you're still able to pop out peak take 45 damage to your gun shield and just you know just salt and pepper enemies get those shield bubbles up and you know just wait do it all over again so gibby is just one of the best legends in the game and he'll continue to be unless he gets a huge nerf guys gibby's in the s tier the last legend in the s tier guys you may have already guessed it it is bloodhound he's been in the s tier since last season who's got a huge buff and he's just became the best recon character in the game now crypto is trying to give him a run for his money but the information that is gathered by bloodhound from his scans is just not enough to be overthrown so he can still hit the beacons to get all the information you need when you're pushing an enemy or a team inside buildings his information from a scan is just undeniable his ultimate is one of the best solo ultimates in the game giving you un you know like unmatched speed you're able to see where every legend is at where they're running to with the footprints so bloodhound still remains in the s tier guys and i don't think he's going anywhere unless crypto gets enough buffs to where he's taken over but the meta has really made it and in, in like in sent or bleh, bleh, I can't talk guys has really cemented him in an in the S tier bloodhound octane and revenant has become one of the biggest metas that we've seen in rank so we're going to see what happens coming up at these big tournaments but bloodhound is at the top of the list guys check it. all right guys that's going to do it for today's apex legends video i hope you guys have really enjoyed it i put a lot of thought and effort into this video and how to rank these legends a lot of changes have happened in the last season and a half guys so let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about the list what kind of changes or what you know which legend really stood out to you that made the biggest change inside rankings from our previous ranking video or what do you think oh hey maybe this legend should not you were just shocked by a legend being in a certain tier let me know down in the comments again guys keep it real positive if you guys really did enjoy today's video make sure to drop a like as that does help me out with the youtube algorithm guys and if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the channel so you guys don't miss out on cool apex legends videos like this and as well as gameplay and tip videos and for me warlock as always stay gaming guys and i'll catch you in the next one peace